Now available on Blu-ray from Arrow Home Video is a new Christmas comedy with a little pinch of horror in there entitled The Leech. I went into this one blind. It's a new release. This film was just from within the last year. So uh, I love going in blind to any kind of movie because that way I have no expectations. I don't know, with these review discs, I can go in blind, not even know what the genre is, but knowing what the cover looked like and the title, I presumed this was gonna be some weird gooey horror movie about some person that turns into a bug or a, or a whatever, is a leech a bug? Whatever, sure, let's call it a bug. Some kind of gross, slimy, Stuart Gordon in, 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 in thing, but it's not that. It's actually a, a, a kind of a wacky, low-key wacky comedy. You fool, you fool, what's this film about? So this <clears throat> takes place at Christmas time. Uh, there's a young priest, youngish priest, uh, not getting a lot of action in the church. I don't mean it that way. I mean, not a lot of people are showing up. And uh, he <clears throat> is finds a homeless, young homeless man in the church, has no place to go, says, come home with me, you can stay with me until we figure this out. <clears throat> There's his big problem. This is one of those movies that makes you go, you know, sometimes it's better to, 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 to not do something just to be nice because sometimes it bites you in the eh. So interesting to me, the, uh, the man who plays the priest, Graham Skipper, gave me a strong Zach Galifianakis vibe. At one point, I had to look up his name to make sure it wasn't like his brother or something. So <clears throat> he's, he's this kind, very proper, very caring, following the noble path priest who brings this man home. And this man uh, becomes the titular leech, not in terms of a creature, but in terms of somebody who just won't leave and just keeps taking. So the humor in the film comes from this homeless guy being a total uh, selfish, crude, uh, uncaring, unthinking dolt who is just like making himself very at home to the tune of inviting his girlfriend to also stay with, with the priest at his house. And it's the priest reacting. It's like, a, it's like the classic, you know, mismatched couple buddy comedy road trip movie where somebody is very, very straight laced and somebody is very outrageous. And over time, the outrageous well, in most of the road trip movies, over time, the outrageous person makes the straight-laced person a little looser, and the straight-laced person makes the outrageous person a little bit more uh, respectable and uh, having their uh, schlitz together. But this movie doesn't do that. This movie basically keeps getting more and more outrageous, and the couple keeps getting more and more uh, at home and unhinged and inappropriate and crude and it's a battle of wills to see if the priest will kick them out or if the priest will succumb to their, you know, impure, uh, uh, not desires, to be his impure desires and, and how it's gonna go. So it almost plays like a feature film sitcom. Like this this is like the basis for a sitcom when you think about it. Um, I, I personally didn't love it. I thought that the humor was okay, but again, it got kind of crude and it's just like, Okay, great, they're having sex. Okay, great, they're doing drugs. Okay, great, they're, they're, they're cussing all the time. And, and the, the, for me, the real humor was the priest reacting to it and how he was doing everything he could to maintain himself. It does ultimately slip into horror movie territory. I'm not gonna say how, when, where, and why, but it is, uh, I would ultimately classify it as a horror comedy. <clears throat> the horror element comes so late in the film, it seemed a little weird to me because it, it didn't feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. It didn't feel like that was on the way. It didn't, like going in blind, if you know what you're getting, if you look at the cover, you know it's gonna go that way. But going in blind, which again is probably how almost nobody will watch this movie, um, unless they just dial it up on streaming. Uh, it did seem like a little bit of a curveball, but you know, that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just wasn't a movie for me. Um, a lot I'm finding, and I love Arrow, um, but I'll tell you the honest truth about what I think about what they release. For me, 99% of the time, anything that is new to video that Arrow is making the video debut of is, I just don't care for them. They're, they're movies that to me are often well-made, often successful on some level, but a lot of the time they feel like a movie that you would see at a film festival. Like, it's not totally 100% professional, but quite nearly there. So, um, and, and that's, I always will also say though, you know, com coming from the guy who's never made a movie, it's easy to say. Um, the f anybody who gets a film released by Arrow, 
because Arrow to me is top of the line. Arrow is my criterion, as I often say. If you can make a movie that doesn't necessarily get a much of a theatrical release, or if it's your first movie and Arrow puts it out, bravo, because that's, to me, that's a really big deal. And every time I get one of these new to video films from Arrow, I'm just like, well, if Arrow thought it was good enough to put out, then I, you've got my interest. And I think that's probably gonna work for a lot of filmmakers. And they, they give incredibly good presentations of these new filmmaker films. And oftentimes you get even more voluminous extras for these brand new movies than you do for the older stuff, probably because with the older stuff, most of the people are dead. So this film is, uh, is loaded. So I'm gonna try to uh, read from this thing right here and not look too much like I'm reading. Um, you get introductions to the film by the lead actor who plays the, um, the priest and the director. Those are interesting. Like I'm always dubious, should I watch those intros before the movies? Sometimes they'll have, you know, a film critic or a film historian or somebody involved with the film. And sometimes it's just, here's a movie we made, blah, 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 and I hope you enjoy it, and now on with the show. And sometimes they get into the plot, and that I'm just like, oh. So I've taken to not watch the intros before the movies, but um, these intros are literally like 10 seconds each, so <laughs> there's no spoilers. If you can put a spoiler in 10 seconds, uh, you're, better, you're a better person than I. Um, there's a making of, which has behind the scenes footage. There's a trailer, there's a music video, there's a video interview with the lead actor and the director. There is uh, three short films from the director that were done before this. There is a live commentary that was done at the Chattanooga Film Festival. There's a Q&A that was done at the Chattanooga Film Festival. There is a new visual essay on The Leech and uh, other films by this director. Uh, there is, uh, oh yeah, then I get down to the point where they're saying it's a special feature that it's in stereo. So uh, I, I did not personally care for The Leech, but this is a movie that I can see a lot of people liking. And this is a film that is uh, Christmas themed. So uh, we are all looking for more, seems weird to say, with the Hallmark Channel and all, but a lot of us are always looking for a new Christmas themed film to watch uh, around you know the December area. And, uh, but ones that aren't about two people falling in love. So a lot of us like the Christmas comedy, the Christmas horror movie, the Christmas action movie. And this is another movie that I think is gonna wind up on a lot of people's uh, lists to seek out, to see this new kind of edgy, not for the whole family uh, Christmas comedy. So uh, available now on Blu-ray from Arrow Home Video is The Leech.